Hello, so the mission of this video is to, as applicable, add handout page references and hints to our concept quizzes and homeworks. And also, very importantly, not to make any other changes to Canvas. Canvas is very brittle and fragile, and also there are no versions of anything in Canvas. So if something gets damaged, there's not a prior version to fall back on. So whenever we're making any kind of change in Canvas using our TA or instructor superpowers, we want to be extremely careful. If in doubt, don't do it and ask me and we'll go forward from there. All right, so with that in our pocket, let's let's get to it. So I'm going to take chapter four as an example. So I'll scroll down to chapter four. And just so for example, you don't want to touch any of these things. If you clicked on that by accident, it would make the answers to the concepts quiz for chapter four uh, visible to all the students. You could delete a whole module by accident, et cetera, et cetera. So just be very, very careful. So to be able to add handout uh, page references. It would be nice to have the handout pages. So I'm going to start by getting those. Okay. And there we go. Okay. So that's at the ready. And now I'm going to go back to modules again and back to chapter four or module four. And I'm going to go to start with the concepts quiz. Concepts quiz for chapter four, balance sheet valuation of entities. We're not going to be making any changes to the solutions files. So you see the little rocket icon there. That's Canvas's way of telling us that this file is a Canvas format quiz. So I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say edit. And so again, we want to be very careful. Uh, so we have these three tabs here. Um, details gives you a lot of the ways I've got things set up, when it's due, blah, blah, blah. We're not going to be changing any of that. So we want to click on questions. And we want to click on show question details. OK, and then we just want to work our way down through the questions. The first one is just informational. And the second one is just informational. This chapter is about the balance sheet information method. And then we're going to come down here. So here's our first question where we want to add some material. What is your estimate for the intrinsic or true value of KBH2 owners? So we click on that little pencil. Let me do that again. I don't think I made that clear. See, when you get into this question, the little pencil and the X come up. Be very careful, of course, not to hit the X and delete the question. You get the idea at this point. Okay, so we want to edit this question. And uh, so we're going to come down here. What does Mr. Market, as Warren Buffett says, believe is the value of KBH's equity? So what's in this green box here is. Uh, the correct answer, and students only see that when it's in this green box if they get the correct answer. So that's not really helpful to them after they've done one try and got the wrong answer. So we want to leave that alone, and but we want to come over here to this box. Not a box like this that's just square, but a box that has the little triangle up at the top. So we want to come over. We're always going to be working with the gray one. And you see it says general comments. The way this is going to work is whatever is in this box, after students answer the question for the first time, whether they get the right answer or the wrong answer, this is going to pop up. So this is where we want to put in the handout page reference and hints, if any. You don't always have to put a hint in. In fact, most of the time you may choose not to put a hint in. And I'm going to leave that up to your judgment. The key rule with hints is going to be if you put a hint in, don't make it strong enough so that it solves the problem. Always leave it so they still have to do some thinking. Okay. All right. So what does Mr. Market think is the value of the firm? That's always price per share times number 
of share. So let's see if we can find it here. Yeah, so here we have the market value of equity and from Mr. Market, and that looks perfect. So let's see, that should be page three. That's page three. Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to say because this is this is pretty definitional. Definitional. The market value of the equity. Um, it tells you exactly what it is, and it has the reference to Mr. Market. So I'm not going to put a hint in there. If you chose to put a hint in there, that's fine. Again, I'm going to leave it to your judgment. So now I'm going to say update the question. Okay, and. It's not showing, it should actually be showing the gray box here too. It's not showing, but you don't have to worry about that. If I go back in and edit it again, you see it is there. That's just a bug of canvases that it doesn't show right away. But the work that you did is there. So now I'm gonna go back up to this question. And what is the estimate for the intrinsic or true value? of KBH to its owners. And remember, we have a gap balance sheet for KBH up here. We have also the shares outstanding and the price per share. And down here, see, I've already given them one hint here. And down here, I've given them any assets they're going to have to change from cost or cost minus wear to market price. So let's see. So the inventory is 4 million. And you also believe that the rest of the assets reported on the balance sheet are roughly equal to their market values. Okay. So we come over here. This is where we're going to put this general comment. And again, the students are going to see this after they try uh, to do this concept quiz their first try. So they will definitely see this, and if they got the right answer, they will also see that. Okay, so I think I want to put in where, generally in the lecture notes, where we're talking about this. Yeah, so I'm going to say uh, the procedure for this is discussed on pages six and seven. And then I'll also point them to an example. So I'll say examples start on page 8 and 11, and we'll correct my spelling there. Okay, so that's it. So I haven't added a hint for either one. I guess, like I said, that would be, that would be up to you. You could add a hint like this, which would be fine. Um, we could put in a hint something like that, if you have that hint, or if you don't have that hint, um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fault you either way. Again, I want you to use your judgment, and I've given them a lot of information with this hint, arguably too much, but they still have to do some work and some thinking to solve the problem. Also, I would argue this is a concept quiz, not a homework, and with a concept quiz, we want to be giving a little more home, uh, help than we would in a homework. So we're gonna say done for that. Okay, now we have that in that nice general answer thing. I'll say update question. And let's move on to the third one here. Based on your analysis, would purchasing shares of KBH probably be a good or good investment? Answer yes or no, and provide one reason. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and reference this one and i'm going to say the methodology is described on page seven okay so again if you didn't put in a hint here that would be fine with me in general if your estimate of intrinsic or true value is much i'm going to capitalize that v is much lower than mr market's estimate you would not want to purchase shares and vice versa. So this is a hint that doesn't lead them quite directly to the answer. They still have to think about it a little bit because they're in the vice versa case. Again, this is a concept quiz, so we're giving them a little bit more on the hint side than we would in a homework. All right, so I'll say done here, and I'll say update this question. And now we've gone through all of the questions, and we're ready to save down here this is going to save everything we've done. This is really important. If you don't do this, all the work that you've done will be lost. 
So you want to say save. Okay, and then it comes back here to our view of this concept quiz. And if you want to make sure that all the work that you did is done, you can just say edit again, go into questions, show question details, and all the great work that you did should now be shown. And as you can see, it's still not showing here. So let's go into the edit and it's there. And that's a bug in Canvas. I don't know why it's showing, but it will definitely show up for the students. All right, so now I'm going to say cancel because we've already saved it. If we said save again, it would not do any harm. And go back to modules, and everything looks good. All right, so that's it. Thank you for that, and I'll look forward uh, to you all putting in lecture note references and uh, hints for the concept quizzes and the homeworks.